What's up everyone? Welcome to Program Your Remote. Today I'm going to show you how to change the resistor for the blower motor for your heat and AC. So what happens when this uh, when that resistor burns out is you may have no speeds as this one. This one is I only have uh, four and five. But as you can see two, three and one don't work. So where we need to replace that is actually gonna be under the glove box. So I'll see you there in the next shot. All right, so we're looking up underneath the glove box now, and there's gonna be three 930 second bolts that we're gonna be looking at, two that we need to remove, and one that we just need to loosen. And you'll need them on a longer socket or uh, have a little extension like this one has on there to reach, reach two of them. So the first two that we need to remove all the way, one is gonna be located up in here, in that little cubby. The other one that needs to be removed all the way is this one right here. And then there's one back in here. Um, you're not really gonna be able to see it, but my fingertip is on it right here. And that one you need to just uh, loosen just a little bit. And then once you do that, once you remove those two and loosen that third one, this, uh, this cover is gonna drop down and give us access to that resistor. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do that, take those two out, loosen the one, and I'll check back in in the next shot. Okay, so we got those bolts out, and as you can see, our cover's coming down. We're gonna pull it down all the way like that. And this is gonna be our resistor right here and there's two bolts that hold it in. And these ones are a seven thirty second. So we need to remove that one and that one, and that's gonna allow this unit to come down. So once more, I'm going to do that and I will see you in the next shot. All right, so I got those two bolts out and as you can see, this is loose in here now. And now there's two connectors we need to unhook. The first one's a little bit difficult to get to. I'm gonna try to get a shot of it right here. Um, it's this one right here with this orange, orange, orange piece on it. So I just want you to take a note of that and I'm actually gonna show you on the new one how to get it off just because it's so tight in there. You can't really get a good camera angle. So we have the, the new one here. This is gonna be sitting this is gonna be plugged in like this, as we were just looking at. So what you need to do is just move that orange piece out a little bit. I don't know if you could see that, but it only comes out just a little bit, like that. Okay, so again, this is gonna be plugged in this way, but I'm just gonna hold it this way so you can see. And then what you need to do is push up on this little tab right here with a flathead screwdriver, and then it allows it to pop out, okay? So I'm gonna unhook that one, and then I'll see you in the next shot. All right, so we got this connector unplugged. The second one we need to unplug is this right here. And the easiest way to do that is if you take a flathead screwdriver, you can fit it in this little slot and then lift that up just a little bit and then that'll unplug like that. And then from there, what you really need to do is grab your new one and then you're gonna reverse everything we just did. Plug this connector in, plug this one in back up in there You'll slide that little board up in that slot and then uh, your screws will go back in, your two 732nd screws, and then you'll put your cover on. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all that and then I will check back in at the end and we'll make sure that it fixed our problem. All right, so we got everything back together, as you can see, and now let's test it out. Perfect. As you can see, we have all our speeds now. So hopefully that'll fix your problem as well. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. If you could take a second to like and subscribe, it helps us out and I'd appreciate it. Thank you.